What's up everyone, this is a guide on how to complete the Stars of Thief Tall Tale and where to find all the journals. Before we get started, I wrote the timestamps for each step down in the description. Also, you should have at least one completion of the Cursed Rogue Tall Tale before you can begin this one. If you haven't done that yet, check out my guide. The link is in the description. Alright, the first step is to start the Tall Tale. Make your way to the North Star Sea Post. Once there, go to Suds and you'll find the Tall Tale next to him. Vote on it and let your journey begin. Yeah. Suds will then begin to speak and the tall tale will be added to your map radial. The next step involves finding Suds Enchanted Spyglass. In order to know where to find it, open the tall tale and look at this page. There are two possible locations. If the first words on the left page read, Face the North Star, then you'll be heading to Rum Runner Isle. If the words read, My Back to the North Star, you'll be joining me at the Twin Groves. If you're headed to Rum Runner Isle, look for a lantern and dig below it to find the chest. If you're at Twin Groves, head to the island with the large rocks. Then walk northwest until you're behind the large rocks. Look for a lone tree and dig next to it. You'll find the same chest. Alright, now bring the chest to board your ship and pick up the enchanted spyglass. You can use the map radial to equip the enchanted spyglass like how you would equip the tall tale. This enchanted spyglass will be useful for solving the stories in your tall tale book. These stories will help you find the star jewels. The enchanted spyglass will be used to view constellations in the sky. Wow! Just point it to the sky, and if you're looking at a constellation, after a few moments the constellation will come forth. Okay, now we have to solve the two stories. There's actually a total of 9 possible stories you could have, so your two stories could be different from mine, but I'll try my best to explain the solution to each one. But in case you want an example of how to solve it on your own, I'll show you how I solved my first one. So my first story was called Great Eagle Landing. On the next page, it mentioned Lonely Isle, so I started there. The picture also showed a mermaid constellation between Lonely Isle and another island. Once I arrived, I used the enchanted spyglass to find the mermaid constellation in the sky. Then I looked directly down to find the island. That island was Lone Cove, so I went there next. The words on the right page talked about the great eagle. The picture showed a bird perched atop the largest rock in the island, which we now know as Lone Cove. So once I arrived at Lone Cove, I found the large rock and searched for the eagle above it with the enchanted spyglass. If you have the same story, you can use this wooden shelter in front of me to get a similar positioning. Once you spotted the eagle, just move around till the eagle is on top of the rock. Then just dig below you and you'll find a star jewel. Okay, so if you want to skip solving your stories, I'll give you the solutions to each one right now. Skip this part if you don't want any spoilers. For the story titled Sea Queen's Promise, go to the Isle of Last Words. Then look off the west side of the island. In the water you'll see the jewel shining. For the story titled Lost an Eye, go to the center of Shark Bait Cove. Look for a tunnel in the water under the shark statue. There you'll find the jewel. For the story titled The Patient One, go to Thieves Haven. Look for the shipwreck on the inside of the island. Then look for a campfire nearby. Dig between the campfire and the shipwreck and you'll find the jewel. For the story titled A Hunt, go to the south side of Reaper's Hideout. Then dive down until you find a ravine. Follow it east and search for a crack and skeleton. There you'll see the jewel. For the story titled Battle in the Heavens, go to Maltineer Rock. Look for some big rocks on the west side, then dig in the middle of them to find the jewel. For the story titled Snake's Deception, go to the southeast end of Rapier K Island. You should be able to find it fairly quickly considering the size of this island. For the story titled They Were Voyagers, go to Discovery Ridge, then look in the water off the northwest side of the island. And finally, for the story titled The Man Who Lost His Gem, head to Mermaid's Hideout. Once there, find the pond in the middle of the island. Dive into the pond and follow the tunnel. Once you get to the split, go down the one with the red sparkle. That sparkle is the jewel. Then grab it and head back to your ship. Alright, before we go to the next step, we'll find the journals and read them. First head to Rum Runner Isle. Once there, go to the northeast end and you'll see this small island. The journal will be among the equipment, be sure to read it. The next journal is located on Plunder Valley. Once there, head to the very top. Right next to the peak, you'll find the same stargazing setup as before. The journal is in the rightmost crate, make sure to read it. The third journal is found on Snake Island. Go to the top of the center island. The journal can be found right off the edge. The fourth journal is on Devil's Ridge. The journal is on one of the two peaks. There are probably other ways to get up to it, but this is how I did it. And finally, the fifth journal is located on Crescent Isle. Once you arrive there, go to the southwest end and you'll find the journal on top of these large rocks. Okay, so the Tall Tale mentions that the next step will take place on a small island that is not on any map. From the past Tall Tales, we've learned that this island is in N13, so head there next. Once you find it, put the jewels in the chest from earlier so you don't have to take multiple trips. Then look for the vibrant looking plant and go to it. Look west and jump into the water with the chest. In the water, you should be able to find an entrance to an underwater cave. Follow the tunnel until you get to the surface. Then go to the top and you'll find this statue. Before doing anything, pick up the unsolved star charts from the base of the statue. That will be needed later. Okay, now place the star jewels on the statue. 
The statue will then open and reveal a totem. The totem is a key to a vault. Your totem might be different from mine. This also means that your vault location could be different from mine. To determine where your vault is, first each totem has a specific name. For example, mine is called the crab totem. Coincidentally, the location of the vault for this totem is right here in this cave. Here is a list of totems and the corresponding vault locations. Head to your location and look for the hieroglyphs that match the name of your totem. So since mine is called the crab totem, I would look for crab hieroglyphs. Nearby, you'll find a square where you can place the totem. Do that and the entrance to the vault will open. Okay. Now this step involves solving two riddles and inputting two combinations. First, there are four rotatable cubes on the four pillars in this room. In the center of the room is a table with a button that you push for inputting your combinations. Now the riddles for you to solve are located on the last page of your tall tale. There are two paragraphs, one for each combination. I'll use my first paragraph as an example to show you how to solve yours if you want to. Otherwise, stick around and I'll give you a list of keywords and the associated constellations that you can use to quickly decipher yours. Okay, so we'll take my first paragraph line by line. The first line says that the old mother was angry. Going back to around the beginning of the book, we can find pictures of constellations and some riddles. The riddle for the great kraken mentions the old mother, so that's the first constellation of my solution. My second line said something about an everlasting promise, and the riddle for the sea queen mentions an eternal promise, so the sea queen is my second constellation. My third line mentioned rowing by hand, so that meant that the third constellation was the tar pitch boat. And finally, my last line in the first paragraph mentioned warmer seas, so the last constellation was the unending flame. Here is a list of key words and their constellations that you can use to determine your combinations. Okay, now to start the puzzle, light the four corners of the center table by holding your lantern up to it. Before you do that, make sure you figured out the solution to both of your paragraphs because this room will begin to fill up with water. If you don't enter both combinations in time, you will fail this tall tale and have to restart. But don't worry, there's plenty of time. Okay, so all you have to do now is go up to each cube and rotate it to match the correct constellation. So my first one was the Great Kraken. Then I had the Sea Queen. Rotate the next two cubes to match the correct constellation and then push the button on the center table. Then do this again for the combination you determined from the second paragraph. After completing that, part of the back wall will begin to descend revealing a Shroud Breaker Stone. Now all you have to do is head back to the North Star Sea Post. Once you're there, hand the stone to Suds and you'll have completed all but one combination. The final combination requires that you complete this tall tale five times. I know that sounds like a lot, but you won't have to read the journals for this tall tale again since you should now have that combination completed. Alright, there you have it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments or in the Discord. The link for the Discord is in the description. I hope this was able to help you complete this tall tale and earn you some new cosmetics. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and live streams. Speaking of live streams, I live stream right here on my channel nearly every Friday and Saturday at 9 p.m. Central. Come say hello. See you in the next one.